Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Mystery Object Answer video on our own devices. I'm Jean Messi, and yesterday I showed you an object that used to be a ubiquitous household tool until it was rendered obsolete by advances in lighting technology at the beginning of the 19th century. So hopefully some of you guessed that this is a candle wick trimmer, also sometimes known as a candle snuffer. And this was for trimming the little tip or the snuff of a candle. And this is necessary because aside from very expensive candles for the nobility, which were made out of beeswax, most ordinary candles were made out of rendered animal fat or tallow. And these were very inefficient. They burned with a very dim, smoky and smelly flame. And worse, the wick was not actually consumed. So as the candle burned down, the wick got longer and longer until it burned out. So it was necessary to continuously trim the wick to around one eighth to one quarter of an inch long. And this had to be done around every 15 to 20 minutes. So as you can imagine, this became something of a full-time job for the servants in large houses and other buildings. Indeed, during this period between the 12th and 19th centuries, theaters employed a person to go around during the performance and keep all the house lights properly trimmed. And in Germany, he was known as the Schnauzer and was made to dress in a jester's outfit and was the subject of much derision and ridicule. And in order to make the trimming process as neat as possible, specialized trimmers or snuffers were developed. This is known as a box snuffer. And so it has a set of scissor blades as well as a little box for catching the snuff after it is cut and preventing it from falling out where it could create a mess or potentially start a fire. And it also features three little peg legs here, meaning that the snuffer can be put down on a table without damaging or dirtying it. And these were made out of all sorts of materials. There were really fancy versions made out of silver, but most of them were made out of cast iron or like this one, out of brass. So candle snuffers remained common up until the 19th century when they were abruptly made obsolete by a surprisingly simple advancement in candle technology. And this was the self-trimming wick invented in 1825 by French inventor Joseph Cambassal. And what he did was rather than weaving the wick symmetrically, that is into a cylinder, instead gave it an oblong cross section. And this meant that as the wick burned, it would start to curl over until the tip, the snuff, was outside the flame where it would crumble and fall off, keeping the wick trimmed to an optimum length automatically. But while this type of snuffer became obsolete, we still use the term snuffer today, but to describe a different object, what used to be called an extinguisher or a doubter, which is used, of course, to put out a candle. However, nobody knows why the term made the jump. One theory is that the act of snuffing or trimming a candle was so precarious that you most often ended up putting out the candle anyway, and thus to snuff became synonymous with putting out a candle rather than trimming it. Though really nobody's really sure why the term made that jump. It's one of those linguistic mysteries. Anyway, that is a brief technical and linguistic overview of the candle snuffer. Congratulations to those of you who guessed correctly what this was. And I will be back next time with either a full length video on another fasting device or who knows, another mystery object video. Anyways, until then, I'm Jean Messier from Our Own Devices. Have a great day.